Good morning. This is Dave with davestr4a.com again. I'm going to be doing what a lot of TR4A owners would like to do that don't have an overdrive, and that is putting an overdrive in my TR4A. Um, I found out that uh, a lot of times when you're doing things with these cars, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And uh, with that in mind, I want to special thanks to my friend Jerry in Northern Ohio who hooked me up with a uh, gentleman that restores these overdrives and uh, is doing one for me as we speak, as I speak here. So, uh, in fact, what we're looking at here is the, um, with, without the exception of this, these pieces here are the electrical components of the overdrive, the A-type overdrive. And this is the, uh, the station that would normally house the turn signals and the headlight on the other side, headlight switch, and this one has the overdrive switch on it. And then this harness is for the, goes from the overdrive to uh, the uh, electrical connections in a stock TR4 or 4A uh, wire harness. And this guy here is the harness for the um, switches that go in the on top of the overdrive. This piece here is what I'm going to be doing different and I guess I should have said at the start that if you've seen any of my videos or if you looked at my website davestr4a.com I'm not all about Concours completely stock restoration. I really enjoy driving this car and uh, coming home is almost as important as getting to the show or whatever I'm going to so I restored the car uh, with that in mind so for you pur purists out there you might want to turn away but just joking but anyway what this is is uh, an option that I bought when I bought my advanced auto wire harness and this is for a relay of uh, the relay circuit for the overdrive and it comes with a, a more conventional modern day relay with a relay socket as you can see here plus there's an inline fuse for the um, for the relay also for the uh, power side going to the solenoid um, so anyway that's that's part of what I wanted to talk about today the other thing is um, what I have here is my trusty TR4A workshop manual and if we open it up, here's the the uh, electrical circuit. Oh, good lord! I didn't realize it was going to be this hard to see. This part here is the overdrive circuit. I'm going to try to get a better picture. Okay, better picture of the wiring harness. Uh, one thing I want to point out, though, is um, the the manual I have is for a TR4 and a TR4A. The only wiring harness they have is this one, which is a TR4, which and the big tip off here is if you look at the battery, it's a positive ground, so you have to be careful there. So anyway, um, the here's a here's the actual circuit for the overdrive. We have our solenoid, our column mounted switch, and then the the two interrupter switches on the transmission to keep it from going to uh, overdrive in first and reverse. And then this is S. Or this 55 is the coil for the solenoid for the in the on the actual overdrive. So the uh, and that's con contact C2 on the um, the standard Lucas um, uh, solenoid. So if we go back through C1, it's going to go over here to the negative side of the battery because it's a positive ground. So. What we're doing on the TR4A, which is a positive ground, is this is kind of re this is whole thing is a lot of this is reversed. Well, this isn't even the same wiring harness. I, I have an auto advanced auto wire harness. So uh, basically, I just wanted to show you this is the stock circuit, um, and now I want to show you what I'm going to be doing on on mine here. I drew a little picture. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to mention too was. This other line here is going to the on side of the ignition switch, so the the, the relay or the uh, circuit is only active when the key is in, in the ignition and the, the key is on, because you don't want to have the overdrive running when you're just you know sitting in the garage or whatever. So 
Okay, so here's here's what I'm proposing to do on mine. Um, I drew a little bit better picture. This is the solenoid here on the overdrive. It actually has two contacts. There's a there's a pull-in coil and then a maintenance maintain coil, I think they call it. Uh, so I drew both of those in. One of them has a this is the would be the uh, the pull-in coil here, and it's got a switch on it that I think only stays open or closed for like uh, a few seconds to to do the actual uh, grunt work to get the overdrive locked in, and then this one here holds it. So anyway, what I'm going to do, this is my new relay here. This is my automotive relay with the fuse going to the battery. So to start with the circuit, we're going to go from the on-side ignition switch to the coil of the new regulate, or re relay, and then there will be a connector. This is the overdrive switch on the column, and then that goes down to the two interrupter switches. And then uh, to just kind of reiterate here, the uh, battery is going to have the or the connection is going to for the coil is going to start at the positive side of the battery, or either there or at the starter. I haven't decided yet because it's basically in the same circuit because I have a, the solenoids on the starter. So anyway, we're going to go from there. I'm going to hook up that uh, the fused uh, input on the contact for the uh, one side of the relay on the automotive relay. And then the other side is going to go the solenoid. So that's it. Basically, um, what we're doing is to make sure that um, this this switch here on the column doesn't have a lot of current going through it. So uh, that's it for this episode. And uh, as soon as I get the transmission, we'll start in on the mechanical side. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to. I also am uh, posting. Uh, I have an overdrive installation page on my website, uh, davestr4a.com, if you want to see uh, uh, pictures. Uh, actually, the guy that's restoring the transmission has been sending me pictures of the assembly of the transmission, which may be interesting to some of you. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. This is Dave. Bye.